Okay, everybody, this is my spoiler review of The Penguin, Episode 6. Before I jump in my review, hit that sub button so you don't miss one of my reviews of The Penguin. I'm also reviewing from at the moment, and I also do celebrity interviews. So I'm going to break my review into two parts. We'll start with everything going on with Oz and Victor, and then we'll finish off with everything going on with Sophia and Sal. So the episode opens with Oz narration talking to his men about who's got the power, and it's interesting because there's a nice little time jump that happens in this episode because from where they were last episode, we saw they only had two barrels of the mushrooms and now they basically got a little mini empire going on underground. And he says the bliss business is booming and his goal is just to rope in one local gang at a time. They also make a note of in the beginning here that the electricity right now is only being sent to rich neighborhoods, not neighborhoods like crown point so that would be a big conflict for oz victor and his mother this episode now victor will also mention to oz that someone from the side of gigante moroni was following him when he was doing a sale so that's already setting up the conflict between that alliance we saw set up last episode and oz which we'll get more into when we talk about sophia's side so at the apartment in crown point the generator is just out now so they have no electricity and his mom's freezing and she's freaking out but they do see on the news on victor's phone that some of sullivan's men who were working for oz were killed by sophia and sal and we'll see on their side of the story this was their plan to get people against oz and that the deal with the triads the very important part they need to get the sales international fell through but his idea to rope the triads back in is to basically give a free night of bliss to anyone who wants it and just be the talk of the town. Now later, Oz will come home to his mom in a cold bathtub. This is a big scene because she asks him to kill her before she becomes a full vegetable. She doesn't want to lose her dignity and Oz says he can't do it. He's like, you ain't a dog, you're my ma. I love the writing there. And she says, don't you chicken out on me. I have given you everything. So this is that manipulation his mother always does to him and guilts him. So Oz says he will do it, but it might not be Oz who has to do it with the cliffhanger we got this episode, which we'll get to. But Oz, knowing the place is too cold for his mom now, he gets the pliers ready. He goes to Councilman Haiti, who we saw he had blackmail on episodes way earlier. And this is played by Entourage's Billy Walsh. So you see that HBO connection there. And he puts the pliers in his nose. And he has the blackmail on him too, so he's able to get him to agree to put the power back on in Crown Point. Now on Victor's side of things, he's dealing with Squid. You knew Squid was going to be a problem. They kept teasing him. And as I predicted, Victor was the one who was going to change in character to take care of a problem like Squid. Squid wants to know where Victor's getting his money. And Victor will try at first paying him off. And he's not taking it. And I also love that Squid calls Oz the Wizard of Oz and no one sees him but he's pulling all the strings. But he demands he be taken to Oz, and Victor turns around and shoots him, which you knew was coming. He had to do this. And thank God, because I could not take another second of that character, Squid. But you see, Victor already feels remorse. He's like, why'd you make me do that? But what's interesting, there's like this fatherly-son relationship they've always had, Oz and Victor. And it really shows here when Oz comforts Victor in his own way. And is like, look me in the eyes. Like, you did the right thing. Protected those you care about. You're a strong kid. And he says it gets easier. So, again, it's just him molding Victor more and more like himself. And it's going to be interesting to see how far Victor's going to go down this rabbit hole. He's already going very far. And the actor of Victor's done an incredible job of keeping him very likable in some of these decisions that we know are bad for him. So then Oz's big moment, and he has the meetup of all the gang leaders and the triads are there, and it's the Gold Summit. That's the title of the episode. I love he throws them beers, Gold Summit. And the beers are also to make things more down-to-earth and personable. That's his pitch here. And Colin Farrell's amazing in this scene. And he's pointing out and being honest with them about a lot of things. That's how he's going to gain their trust because they know he's not a trustworthy person. He said he's the most hated of the bunch. He knows it. And he points out that the Moronis and Gigantes don't know your name, telling all the leaders that. And that they'll eventually take your territory because they don't care about you. And he brings up then the council people who run the whole city. He's like, but why can't that be us? And he says the old guard won't be able to touch us. These are all big pitches he's giving. But Zhao, of course, brings up, he betrays everybody. He's not trustworthy. This is just him doing what he does. But Oz doesn't give up there. He still drives home that 
if we work with ones we hate instead of ones who don't know our names, that's where they're going to find success. So where he really wins them over, though, he confesses he killed Alberto and that he stole Sophia's product. That's how he's going to gain the trust. And he says, I hustle because I'm a poor kid at the end of the day who's got something to prove, which all those gang leaders can relate to. And then they start cracking the beer cans open one by one in support. And eventually Zhao being the last one does it. So he's even got the triads to come along. But the theme of this show you see is as Oz keeps moving up and up in his career side of things, he's drifting farther and farther away and losing people he loves and this is where you worry now he's lost eve which we're gonna get to but also it's coming forth something bad is probably gonna happen to his mom so now on sophia and sal's side of things sophia is into violence sex acts with julian he's got like whip marks all over his body and he basically says that he'll do his expertise if she ever finds oz on oz which we might see next episode now sophia we'll see has a scene with sal and tells her that Oz's driver is delivering her product and that he just disappears. So we know that she's the one who sent someone to follow him. But she knows that Oz is someone who likes a spotlight too much to stay hidden, which I thought was great. And there's a little moment here where Sal gets to see Sophia in that character part of her that's very interesting where she gorges her food. I wonder if we're going to get a full payoff for that trait of hers with the gorging by the end of the season. We'll see. Now, Sal's worried about how many local gangs Oz is pulling in. We'll see by the end of the episode. He was right to worry about that. And Sophia wasn't worried because she's like, well, I have the triads. It's my deal. But the truth comes to Sophia from Sour. He's like, people buy from whoever is selling. So we'll see what she was thinking was a safety net with triads doesn't end up being the case. And then with Sal and Sophia, they go to look through Oz's original apartment and Sal's trying to find someone he cares about. And he's like, there's really no one this guy's attached to. And that kind of gives him strength. But we also see that Sophia thinks his mom is dead, but she finds Eve's undies and a pick of her. So this also is someone they can use as a lead to find where Oz is as well. And she finds Eve's apartment through Roxy because Eve was expecting her to come. Remember how paranoid Eve was this whole season about the hangman. I also want to say I love Sophia's look in this episode. Just looks full on villainous, which is great. Feels very much like a Batman villain. But you see, this is a scene that's played beautifully by Kristen Milioti and Carmen Uyogo, who is a staple on HBO shows. She's always great, but they're feeling each other out. And you'll see that Eve brings up the girls that were killed by who she thinks is the hangman, Sophia. She said, these are my friends. But we see that Sophia tells her Oz never told Eve. It was her father who killed them, Carmine Falcone. And she also brings up the point that Eve was an alibi for her brother's death. So they both have some darkness on each other. So Eve wanted her to come up there because she wants to protect her girls and says, when you're done here, leave my girls alone, thinking that Sophia's about to kill her. And you see Sophia is envious of Eve for having people close in her life that they have each other's back like that. And what's really fascinating is Sophia decides she's not going to kill her. And she was already planning to leave. And Eve gives her the location of Oz and says she should have her shot. So that was obviously because Eve was pissed that Oz never told her that he knew who killed her friends. Now, I love how this episode ended where the power comes back in Crown Point. And Victor and Francis have this sweet moment dancing. And I love the little touch they had too, where right when the music starts and Victor's about to dance with her, Victor like flinches for a second and looks to the right because he hears something. And that was actually at that moment, Sophia breaking in. But Victor will tell Francis, Oz got the power back on for her. He knows how to talk up Oz to a mom who's very judgmental of him and hard on him. And we get this amazing cliffhanger where Sophia's right there with a crowbar she sees there that his mother is alive. So this is where full-on danger for Oz is coming his way. So I think next episode is just going to be absolutely wild. we only got two episodes left to go. So a lot of setup in this episode. I thought it was a good episode, but it was actually my least favorite. I do think it was really slow for a shorter episode. And it was kind of stuck in the mud at points and the stuff with squids really not that great. But I guess it makes sense, obviously, for the character of Victor and what he's doing. But you kind of knew a lot of this stuff was coming. I think it's what's the problem with this show in the last couple episodes is pretty predictable. So I hope that next episode becomes more kind of shocking and things maybe you don't expect where you can kind of piece things about to happen before they happen in this show a lot. So I just think this was one where it got two caught up in the dealing and the gangs and who's going to take control. We keep hearing this over and over in the show. And now I feel like it's kind of getting repetitive with that. So just want to switch things up 
a little more next episode, and I feel like it will. But I still really enjoyed it. Really strong stuff in this episode, especially the scene with Oz and his mom when she's asking him to kill her before she becomes a vegetable. I really like that scene with Eve and Sophia. And I'm excited to see where things still go next. Still very solid. It shows me very consistent. So I'm giving this one an 8.2. Let me know what you thought of it down below. I love to hear your thoughts. I read every comment. Try to respond as many as I can. Please hit that sub button. It helps in so many ways you have no idea. And I'll see you next time.